so now I'm gonna take kid through this tire and again this is all about building our horse's confidence it's important to be respectful of our horse's feet they're so sensitive about the placement of their feet you know their feet is their primary tool that's what they use to find food water to defend themselves and so they're very particular about where they place their feet so I want to introduce him to the tire I'm gonna go ahead and pull his nose around here give him an opportunity to maybe smell it inspect it and you notice when I lift up with my hand if he doesn't go forward I raise my steady stick to apply a little bit of pressure behind him to try and drive him forward so I'm gonna ask again and right now if I can just get him to put a foot on it I'd be pleased with that and I'll just keep floating with him as he moves around here and I'm looking for him to either show me some sign of forward motion or a good sign of relaxation maybe if he lowers that head and neck or licks and chews or takes a deep breath all of those would be good signs so I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure on my pony run not quite and I'm not gonna whack on him I'm just gonna gently tap with my stick here there he touched it with that one foot I'm gonna release the pressure let him take a deep breath and I'm just gonna let him stand there for a moment so that he understands that he made it oh I like that he lowered that head and you know a lot of times if you've got the patience and the time if you just gently expose them to something a lot of horses will end up going over these obstacles on their own just out of sheer curiosity now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more pressure see if we can get a foot up on top of the tire there He touched it again, I'm gonna take the pressure away, let him know he made a good choice, and then go right back to it. So right now, just touching the tire isn't gonna be enough for me to release the pressure. I'd like to get a foot up on top of that tire. So he's backing away from the tire and you can see he wants nothing with putting that foot on top of the tire. So I always like to start with an approach and retreat uh, method where we approach something, we give the horse the opportunity to put their foot up there or to kind of walk through the obstacle. And if they do that, we'll retreat. But when my horse starts retreating on their own volition, what I do is I actually kind of change things up a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my pony around me and I'm going to use my steady stick to send them around here and I'm going to go ahead and send them into a trot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into his resting place into his safe place a place where he's not going to have to be working and he'll get to rest and relax Okay, so I'm going to give him the opportunity to come on in here. Oh, I like that. As soon as he stopped, he put his nose right up in there, took a deep breath. That's really good. You know, when our horse puts their nose down, or sometimes your horse might even paw at something, that tells you that they're thinking forward. They're thinking about whatever you're exposing them to. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure. I'm going to maintain pressure, see if I can get him to put a foot in there. Oh, I like that. I'm going to stop him for a second. Take a nice big deep breath and give him a rub. And now I'm going to let him walk through the rest of the way. Very good. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Good boy. You know, anything that you can expose your horse to is going to help to build their confidence. Uh, make sure you do it in a safe way. 
so that they're not going to get hurt. And you don't want to get hurt either. I never lead my horse through obstacles. You'd never see me just lead them through. I always stand at a safe distance and I'm going to send my horse through the obstacle where if something happens and my horse gets hung up or gets into trouble, I'm not going to get plowed over by my pony. And let's go out the rest of the way. Oh, I love that. Very nice, quiet, very intentional with the placement of his feet. He didn't just scramble those feet and throw them anywhere. He took his time and moved right through it.